love to see that. What are you doing? So Lair hit my B button. What? 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 Oh, a little Dalmatian. I know. I know. Oh, you're scratching me. Oh, I know. I know. My nose? Yeah, he got scratched. He's having a... So Lair, stop. I'm sorry. Your mom left you home alone. Tell Zane he's not good. Stop it. Someone tell Zane he's not good. Can you ever sit there and just... I feel like I'm so good at this matchup. I feel like me and Zane are insane at this matchup. He used to fall for that all the time. He doesn't fall for it anymore. I was gonna actually make a tier list video. Where's Kingly? You know how the Panda Global put out? And I was gonna do this. I was gonna look into the camera and go, Today, I was gonna go, Hello, YouTube. Fancy seeing you here. Today, I'm gonna go over this tier list. This Panda Global tier list. And then I was gonna say Panda Global. More like this tier list is a piece of garbage. I had a whole thing lined up. PG. And then it's like, you know, the icons like garbage. It was a whole thing. I had a whole thing planned. It was a whole thing and it got ruined. Yeah, because it's, you know, Panda Global, but I was going to say piece of garbage. And it would have been really funny because I think the tier list is cheeks. And it was made by our top 100 players. But I swear our top 100 players suck ass. I swear people don't understand Melee at all. And I feel like they're stupid. <laughs> I'm like Leffen, but... I think my Melee opinions are 100% correct. And I'm, I'm down to talk about them, but I think I have a pretty good view of the, like uh, everything as a whole. I've also played a lot of characters at a pretty high level. I'm not very biased, like... I'm not super biased. I think the problem with everybody is they're biased. But I'm, I don't think I'm that biased when I'm at, when I actually talk about the game. I don't. I like to think I'm not that biased. I just think I don't know. Puff is so bad. I know. I think Leffen still thinks Puff's good, but because he'll he doesn't want to admit to changing his opinion. He's too committed now. I think Fox Marth is not that bad at all. But I haven't played it as much. But when I play it, it just feels like a hard matchup. But. I, like, when I play right now, I think Falco beats Marv. And I still think this matchup's fucking hard. So because the matchup's hard, does that make it a bad matchup? I don't think so. I think the Fox players are not used to playing bad matchups. Whereas, like, as a Falco player, half the matchups I play are kind of tough for me. But I still think I win them. Like, I never hear Axe or someone complain about how every matchup's hard for him. Because every matchup is hard for <laughs> that poor guy. Like, I think Falco Fox, Falco Marv, Falco Sheik are insane. Insanely hard matchups for Falco, but I think Falco can win them So like just because they're hard does that mean they're bad like does that make it a bad matchup? I don't think so. I just think the matchups hard and yeah, you can get fucked But I've been a spacey player for 20 years and if I play bad against anybody, it's gonna be bad They're gonna fuck me So that, that logic never made sense to me percentage wise, but I think at the top level no matchup is uh, like unwinnable per se like, I think Falcon has really hard matchups, but Falcon's really good. I think every matchup Falcon plays is probably not in his favor, except Puff. But I still think he can do it. And the thing I give for, like, matchups are, uh... The thing I give about matchups is, like... Are you losing... So, like, when you lose somebody, are you losing them because the matchup's bad? I don't think it ever happens. Like, when Zayn beats... Leffen or Cody, I, I think he's just objectively the best player. And I don't think it's because of the matchup. Like, I don't think people have... I've never lost in Melee and been like, man, that matchup's really hard. Or, like, I only lost because this guy has a matchup advantage. And I don't think that's the case in Melee at all. I don't think anyone's ever lost because of a matchup advantage with the good characters. And that's how I feel like... When I lose to Zane, You know Zane beat me the first three times we ever played with Falco Marf and I, I could have just started complaining about the matchup but I, I think Zane was just better than me in the matchup and I had to catch up and then I did catch up and then you know now we're where we are I think he was just better than me 
I don't think he was a better player, but I think he was better at the matchup in the beginning. But I just had to learn the matchup, and then, you know, it evened out. Is Zane better right now? I think me and Zane are essentially even overall. But I think he has the benefit of OK Marf beats OK Falco. And that's something I had to overcome as a Spacey. Like, the thing I see, like, complaining about matchups being hard as a Spacey is, like, really stupid. Because as a Spacey, you get one advantage that no one else in the game gets. If you play your best, you have the advantage against every character. If me and Zane played our peak, peak Falco, peak Marf, I have the advantage. Because I'm a Spacey. That's the benefit you get. The downside is your average and your low are going to be painfully bad. Because of the nature of the character. So that's why like, I never complain about matchups. Because I know if I play really well, I have the advantage. So to me, it's like... You have the advantage, the end game advantage. Well, the argument of you can't play your best in tournament all the time is silly. Because... I don't know. I don't think you're allowed to play spaces and be like, Well, my character's hard in tournament while playing spacies and suffering from the success of being a spacey like i think that's stupid you know what you get when you start in tournament as a spacey you know what i mean i don't think you can hide behind the fact of like oh my character's really hard in tournament well it's like don't fucking play him if you're just gonna bitch that he's hard in tournament or play marf or sheik or something i don't know so that's why like, you'll never catch me complaining because i i understand where spaces are and i know if i play well zane has to play really fucking well and a weakness is, yeah, if I don't play that well, I'm gonna get absolutely shat on by, like, you know, even someone like... Fuck, if I play bad against, like, Johnny, and Falco Falcon is apparently really bad, I think Johnny will fuck me up. But if I play good, Johnny's gonna be shaking his little fucking... his little socks off. So I don't get complaining about a character when you know what you get yourself into. You know? Gliffy! Shit. Oh, I'm getting fucked. I'm a Falco. I'm a Fox player right now. You know what? I'm a Fox. I'm a Fox player. But yeah, I feel like Let's kick some tail. saying that like you can't play your turn your character good in tournaments like silly to me, because that's just kind of what you sign up for. But that argument never made sense to me. If you play like a floaty, your benefit is that your shit's probably a little easier and more consistent. But ask any floaty player, or like Sheik, or Marf player, when they're playing a cracked spacey, how fucking hard it is. And when you play a spacey, you're pretty much committing to try to be cracked all the time. And no one said it was easy, because it's fucking not. I've been trying to do it for 20 years, and I still can't get it done. So that's why I think it's dumb to make that excuse. But I also feel if I play my best, nobody can beat me. Nobody. Maybe 2018 Armada has a chance, but other than that, I'm not losing anybody. If I play my best. Really? 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 Oh, my jab didn't come out. So yeah, that's why I think like the whole matchup stuff's bullshit, and it's just. But I think it's fun to talk about, and I think you guys like it. I mean, you're probably sick of it at some point, but that's why. Like, I I, I get into my moods where I talk about matchups, but I just think at the end of the day, it's just for content. People talk about it. Wine well, to nine, thank you. People be johnning. I mean, I always say it's like, it just feels like, also complaining about a matchup, I feel like, takes away from Zane, and I think that's whack as fuck. Like, when people complained about Puff Fox and, like, saying it was almost even for fucking Fox or Puff, it's like, no, bro, Hbox is just fucking better than you clowns. When I play Hbox in his prime, I was like, this guy's fucking nasty, dude. And I don't think it's because this matchup's even. I just think this guy's better than me right now. And you notice the matchup people are always saying. It's always the matchup. It's always the matchup when they're losing. It's not the matchup, bro. The other guy might be better. Oh, I'm bad. See, I, that's why I think it's dumb. I'm fucking... Billy, you see that? Cody molding up. Well, he's mad, but it's like, when you complain that much about a matchup, people are going to give you shit when you decide to switch. And I don't think there's anything wrong for switching. 
But when you're like, it almost becomes part of your brand to complain about the matchup, and then people are just gonna give you shit, and there's not much you can do about it at that point. Fuck. And I think like spacey propaganda is kind of a thing. Back to being a lurker. Thank you for paying your lurk tax. But it's also because there's more spacey players, and the spacey players are more vocal than anyone else. There's more of them. Like you don't hear. What has Zane ever said anything about anything? This guy's got the quad. He's like, Zane's like BBF. Just imagine Zane in the corner room as little big banana. Yeah. He's like not gonna say shit, right? Like a lot of sp a lot of floaties and like Zane are. BBF, right? They're just there. They, they don't give a fuck. So I think that's all. Spacey propaganda, just spaces are more vocal, is what it comes down to. I mean, I've talked to Zane. I know Zane gets fucking annoyed by it. That's like, why wouldn't he, right? Peaches don't show the fuck about bad peaches. You know what? I follow none of them, and there's like four of them. So I, I, how are the peaches doing? Are they okay? What's going on with them? He was fucking dead. I love that Fox can kill from Marf so early. I mean, Peaches got brainwashed by Armada. Armada said Peaches was bad when he was just winning tournaments. It's like, bro. Imagine if Hbox was going around saying Puff is terrible when he was dominating. Like, it would be fucking annoying, right? Imagine if Hbox won and was like, uh, I don't think Puff's that good. We'd be so annoyed, but it was our motto, so we just kind of swept it under. He does that. He does that now. And I think he's right, but imagine if he was winning. Armada would do this when he was winning. Now he's getting fucked to complains that Puff's bad, but... It's way better complaining about your character being bad when you're losing than when you're winning. If you're winning with the character, it's like, bro, you're fucking winning, dude. Shut the fuck up. Now he sucks ass and he can say it. I feel like Fox Marf, and this might make people mad, is way easier than Falco Marf. Falco Marf is so fucking hard. When I play it, like, I just feel... As Falco, I'm, like, on a super tight rope. My lasers have to be clean. Everything has to be clean with Falco. Fox can get away with Fox shit that's really good. It just feels... And not just because I'm winning on FD, but I've always felt that way. But Falco does have benefit of lasers. But when Zane's literally power shielding 90% of my lasers, you have to be so smart about each laser, which is really hard to, like, be consistent with in tournament. Here comes a big one. Lefen's ability to John is in a tier of its own. I think... Levin's naturally a complainer, so he just naturally Johns. And even when I don't think he means to. I mean, Lef's my boy, but, you know, sometimes he's... I want to tell him to shut up. Wow. Oh. I missed that. Oh, he's dead. What are you doing, Zane? Call me Billy Bo Mang, baby. I mean, Fox privilege is a real thing. You get some free ass shit with Fox. That's ridiculous, man. Also, no matter what, how you look at it, Fox has a fucking option for every. He can be in any situa situation in the game, and he has an option for it. He's the only character that has that. You gotta understand that about Fox, and that's why he's Fox McCloud. Put some respect on his name. He has an option for every situation in the game. No matter where he is, he has an option. No matter what, even, it doesn't matter. He's got an option everywhere. I could have shined him, that would have been disgusting. Yeah, my Fox has been playing better than my Falco. I feel like my Fox has been hot shit lately. Got my Geo practice. Oh, he got that? Ooh, the Goom. The Gangle. Whoops. Like, that would have been a kill if I didn't fuck it up off a straight back air. Like, shit, like, that's crazy. He's dead. Fluffin. Fluffin. Mango. Smokey. Shit. Toph. <laughs> Toph. And like, I think Fox is complaining about like their up air getting smashed. The eye makes me so annoyed. It's like, well, don't fucking up air then. <laughs> you can do other things. <laughs> that makes me mad. If you mix up the timing, like, it's totally fine. And then you, look what you get off it. 
like that was all off a grab. Like I, I don't know. Cause you can mix up your timings. See. Like Fox killing eighty seven. He's so good. So I'm not turning this into like Fox is good, but he really is so fucking good, dude. He's so much better than Falco. It hurts in moments, <laughs> but Falco's got his own shit. But in moments, oh, Fox is so fucking good in moments, dude. When Fox is good, he's the best character in the game. And the thing is, he gets a lot of those moments constantly because he's Fox. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Psych. Who turns that around? <laughs> Billy! 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 Oh, my back here would have led to a knob smash! Fuck! Half a second, that back here connects and I win. Literally. Literally, like, half a second I was winning. Also, I'm not, like, trying to, like, hype up Fox because everyone's shown him. I also, like, hype up Fox to, like, remind myself that he's actually really good and that I should use him more often. Because my Fox is actually fucking crack cocaine, as the kids say. Like, my fox is the shit, bro. So I, I just kind of hype him up in my head. You can't have Kobe on the bench, right? Oh, my Billy right now? Oh, my. Fuck Gia. I moved on to bigger, billier things, baby. I also think that my fox style is really good against Marf. Running at Marf with fox is, I think, how you play the matchup. And I think so. I, I do get an advantage. I think my fox style is really good against day and age Marf. What's up, Sinister? I'm really good at running at people, and I think that's what beats Marf nowadays. Especially Zane. You can't let Zane set up shop. Zane with shop set up is the greatest player to ever touch controller. You can't fucking hit him. Oh, I got a forward beat that. I said. Living? Damn. He's mad. I'm also stupid. Why would I have smash there? <laughs> oh. Oh, he got that? This guy's crazy. Because Zane is like Armada in the sense that, like, they have their shit down. But he's like Armada with a heart. Because, like, he's down to do mix up. Armada was never really a mix up guy. So he has that, like, robot in him where he's, like, he's just down. And he's got, like, his shit down. But Zane will also throw a lot of mix ups, which makes him scary. Cause Zane's down to mix up. He's got his shit that he'll do that will work a million percent of the time. And he's also down to play the game. Which is what literally makes him so good. Don't grab me. No! That was so dumb. I hate this shit game. Oh. 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 I tried, boys. Oh. I fucking missed it. A fastball and L cancel everything. <laughs> Suck a dick. I love it. Zane, when he does that, kills me. Cool game. That's that Falco life. Got him. Wait a minute. He never falls for that. I'm shocked. He didn't think I'd go for it. I hate Falco. Oh, that's good.
I'd like to get a shield grab, motherfucker. Fuck it. The read of a lifetime for no reason. <gasps> We're not I'm dead. Yet. This is the end. He sucks. Fuck. What's up, Girthy? Even Zane saying your Fox did better. No, I, I gotta relearn this matchup. I think this matchup's harder. Like, harder and like, the fact that like, Fox does kill Marf earlier than Falco. And the, fo the fact that Fox lives longer gets you so much, you know, net mileage over the course of a set. I think Nun can get to the highest tier. Nun's pretty good. He's been inconsistent right now, but I feel like with Nun's style is always going to be hit or miss. He either goes, he, Nun kind of goes off or he doesn't. He doesn't really have like, he doesn't have like, a, like a backup plan, I guess, which I used to be the same way. And so I kind of learned how to make, you know, you can't always be on fire. So you got to learn how to like, not necessarily play like that all the time. When Nun's on though, he's fucking amazing. But his is like, not on is very, very not as good. That was, I mean, that was literally my problem for the longest time. That's the Joey, yeah. Joey, Nun are very similar in that sense. I hate this game. I love this game. Sick fucking show grab you fucking lug ugly bitch. So don't fucking ever show grab me again. That's the nice thing Mitsuki ever said to me. He's like, you don't show grab mango. That's right. If I'm playing good, don't even bother. I'm on show grabable. I think it was a good session. I think we we're both playing pretty well today. I like how I was playing overall for my first day back. And he's playing. I think he's playing pretty well. I know when Zane's playing bad. I think he played pretty well. I played pretty well. A little sloppy at moments, but I think that happens. But GG's.